hung a bunch of uh, bird feeders in bird houses off my deck and it was just yesterday that I filled those bird feeders and we've already got birds coming But it's fun. I'm going to have a fun time this summer watching the birds. It is an absolutely beautiful day today and we had a ton of rain last night. Uh, but I wanted to show you what's been going on in the greenhouse. Uh, this is that lavender plant I bought at uh, Walmart last week. I got it potted and um, if, it, if the weather forecast is that it's going to get really cold, I just have Travis put it inside the greenhouse. But lavender plants can are hardy up to, I don't remember, like 20 degrees or something. So I felt like it was safe to plant it and leave it outside. But here is the greenhouse. I planted some peas here, snow peas or sugar snap peas, and then some radishes, and nothing is coming up yet. I need to put the hose back on it, it looks like it's kind of dry in some patches. This is a brand new soaker hose, so it's not wanting to lay down very well. There's the lettuce, I've already had one um, picking from that. I'll insert a picture of that here. Yeah, the family enjoyed that. It was um, the lettuce and some spinach. And then here you can see carrots. I had planted those last fall and they came up. There's some there and there's some there you can see. So that's exciting. There's nothing planted back there. But that corner is really hard for me to reach, so no, 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 get down. No, 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 get out of there. Oh, shoot. Oh, some thinker. Oh, anyway, it's really hard to reach back in that corner, so I might just plant some herbs or something back there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant there. Maybe just some flowers. Scott thinks I need to get some hanging baskets in here and plant some stuff. So that's probably something we'll do maybe this year. Then up here on the deck, um, remember last year I had like a, I just used artificial flowers in the pots, in these pots and I had like a gnome theme up here. But I think this year I wanna do real 
real plants again. I'll probably maybe have one pot like this one. I might fill it with artificial flowers because um, I put my hummingbird feeder on there. And But I want to go ahead and just plant real flowers in these again. And I had Scott put hooks up there for me. And I've got three birdhouses and a feeder there and a feeder there. And I'm going to get some other kind of a feeder to go off of there. And I'm going to make this like a bird sanctuary or whatever you might want to say. Um, I put, put seed here on the rail because I just filled these bird feeders for the first time last night. And I just wanted to kind of uh, attract the birds. And it looks like they came and took all the sunflower seeds out of it and left the rest. So... And it got really, like I said, it rained really hard last night. So I'm probably come out and just brush that off. And the deck needs to be cleaned yet. Everything, it's still, still really dirty. And I just started to get things done. I had to fill that pot with the potting soil again because the soil was really low. And I'll go through all of these silk flowers and just use the ones that still look nice. But, yeah. I'm really excited for spring. I mean, I know it's almost May, but around here, that's when you, you start thinking planting is after Mother's Day. So, so May. <laughs> and this is that marigold that I plant, uh, bought at Walmart. And I planted that in this planter yesterday. I just bought that planter um, at the Dollar General. It's actually the cheapest place to find planters, like big pots, big containers around here. So yeah, planted that. I still think, especially at nights, it gets too cold to put it outside. So I'm just gonna leave it in here for a couple more weeks. And uh, it's right here by the window. I'll probably end up scooting it up closer but anyway yeah that's what I've got going on in my flowers this year hi friends it is such a beautiful day that Olivia and I decided to go over to the greenhouse um, I was gonna go Saturday but I have to work this week I'm back to my normal hours and so I thought eh, I don't want to I don't want to plan my Saturday to go somewhere plus today the weather's nice and who knows what the weather's gonna be like on Saturday so we're gonna go to the greenhouse when I get back I'll show you what we picked up So we are back. It's almost two o'clock. I think it's like right around two o'clock. And I am starving. 
So I've got some leftovers warming up in the microwave, but before I eat, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I picked up uh, at the garden center. And then we stopped at Dollar General uh, because they had a really good price on potting mix. So I picked up several bags of potting mix and a few other things. So I picked up some of this weed barrier. Um, I'll take you outside in a little bit and show you kind of what Scott and I had kind of in mind to do. And we needed some of this weed barrier. I don't know if this was a good deal or not. Um, it was $11.95 for 50 feet. So it's gonna be more than enough for what we need so I just thought well I saw it there and I went ahead and picked it up maybe could have got a better deal somewhere else but I don't know so then these are the plants I ended up getting and I also got some suet for the bird feeder um, they were a dollar 79 a piece and then when we stopped at Dollar General they had them for a dollar so I picked up a couple at Dollar General as well but this is the peanut blend and high energy. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that suet feeder out there on that. It's hanging on the side of that bird feeder. I'm going to fill that in a little bit. So then I wanted to get some herbs because I like to grow herbs. Um, I try to grow herbs every year, you know, some years more than others. <laughs> but this year I decided to go with cilantro because Artie the cocktail loves it, and we've Olivia's been using it a lot in cooking lately. Rosemary, that's something I grow every single year. Um, chives, I have seeds, and I was gonna just sow seeds, but then I saw they had this already established plant there, so I just decided to go ahead and just buy a chives plant. And then this is basil. I'm gonna go with two tomato plants this year. We're gonna do container garden, and we're gonna try growing tomatoes in a container. I've tried in the past, wasn't very successful, but we thought we'd try it again. <laughs> and I decided to go with heirloom varieties. And so this one is called Mortgage Lifter. Don't know why it's called that, but it sounded like it was gonna make some nice, big, beautiful tomatoes. And then Olivia chose this one, and it is called the pineapple, because it has like a yellow center. It looks like the red on the outside, and then yellow on the inside. And then I got some impatience because I had some of those in the pots on our front deck, which is on, it's on the north side of the house, and it's always shaded and they did so good last year that I decided I was gonna just do impatience on our front deck every year. So I got four different colors, some dark pink, some like salmon-y color, light pink, and then red. So those are gonna look really pretty. And then these two flowers I got to go on the back deck for uh, attracting hummingbirds. This is salvia. I looked online and they said salvia. Salvia is one that attracts hummingbirds. I was looking for zinnia, zinnias, zinnias, however you want to pronounce it, and I didn't see any there at the greenhouse. And I know you can start those from seed, um, and they said those are really good hummingbird attractors, but I couldn't find them. And so I got this. It's called. Vermillionaire. That's the Latin name. And it didn't say that it attracted hummingbirds specifically, but I know hummingbirds love red and they love flowers where they have like this trumpet shape. So I got this. And this one also liked full sun. It's really funny. The front of our house, um, the north side of our house, gets all shade all year and then the south side of our house which is this side where the deck is full sun all year so I have to get full sun plants for back here and full shade plants for uh, the front of the house 
So that's everything I got at the greenhouse. So let me show you what I got from Dollar General. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make chicken salad. So I picked up some buns. I have chicken salad sandwiches, and then I picked up some chips to go with it. This is Scott's favorite. Lay's Classic. Now I like the Lay's Classic lower sodium ones, uh, but they didn't have those at Dollar General. And then I got these Fritos Honey Barbecue. Um, these do not have dairy in them, so Olivia and I can eat those. And then Olivia saw this and wanted to give it a try. It is Mountain Dew Maui Burst. It's Mountain Dew with a blast of pineapple flavor. So I may have her... Uh, put a little bit of this in a glass for me to try. I don't drink carbonated be beverages, but I'm really interested to taste that. And then I picked up this sock feeder. It's for uh, goldfinches and buntings and that kind of stuff. I hang that out on the deck. And then I got these two high energy suets for a dollar. Like I said, they were a dollar. They're a little thinner than these. So they probably wound up being about the same price, you know, ounce for ounce or whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's what I picked up in our little excursion. Plus I got six bags of potting soil and they're still out in the car. But I don't think you care about seeing a bag of dirt. <laughs> so what we are planning, what Scott and I had talked about and are going to try to do this year is have a container garden. Um, we're going to start off small and just with those two tomato plants and maybe, I don't know, maybe something else. I haven't decided yet if I want to try to do a cucumber or I don't know. I'm not sure. I've not had a whole lot of luck with container gardens so we'll just kind of see how it goes. But what we're gonna do with that ground cover, that weed barrier stuff, is we're gonna use the side of the greenhouse as one side of our container garden area. And then we're gonna put that uh, cloth down, the weed barrier down. And Scott hasn't decided yet what he's gonna use as like a, a um, border around it. And we're not gonna come out too terribly far because we have these hoses that we need to make sure that you know don't get drug through the plants and that the hoses don't get obstructed as well so we're going to come out i don't know he said four feet but i'm thinking maybe more like six feet since that barrier is three feet wide we can come out six feet and we'd still have room for the hoses here put the border around it the wooden whatever he decides to do and we'll cut some big holes in it over my two peony plants here of course obviously I'll rake all this out and then we will put mulch down and then just set the pots randomly on top of the mulch uh, because with the tomatoes especially we've been having a terrible time with um, blight and from what I understand the blight comes from the soil if it's in the soil it, it you know you have a really hard time with it and it's from the, the rainwater hitting the soil and splashing up onto the plants the tomato plants causing the blight and so we thought if we put this barrier down then mulch on top of that and then had the tomato plants in containers then maybe we could avoid getting blight. So that's what our thought processes are on that. And this area never grows grass. As you see, it's very sandy. The only thing that grows are weeds. It's hard to mow this area. So we thought we could just cover it and kind of landscape it a little bit and make it look nice and it will provide a nice sunny spot for some vegetables in containers and we won't have to worry about mowing. Now as you can see <laughs> there's landmines everywhere so Sally's gonna have to choose a different spot to go to the bathroom but I think she will once we 
cover this up. So that's our thought process is on, on why I bought that ground cover stuff and yeah. And right now I, we just bought two big containers for the tomato plants. And like I said, I haven't decided yet if I want to do like a pepper plant or something else. Tell me, tell me in the comment section below what are good vegetables that you can grow in a container. Because I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I forgot to turn the soaker hose on earlier this morning, so I just now turned it on. I've got a wasp in here. Yuck. But anyway, yeah. It's nice to see vegetables growing. I'm gonna make the chicken for the chicken salad in my instant pot here. So I'm just gonna put this part in, add a cup of, a cup of water and then the frozen chicken. And then I'm just gonna put it on manual time for like 23 minutes, something like that. And it'll be cooked and ready for making the chicken salad. Is such a good chicken guard dog guardian dog right now there's just one rooster by him but a lot of times he'll be laying down and all the free rangers are just milling around him and he doesn't do anything he doesn't try to hurt them nothing he just he just protects them don't you bow hi buddy hi buddy Oh, it's a good boy. That's a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. <laughs> such a good boy. All right, so the chicken is all cooked. And um, I don't remember where I heard, but somebody, somewhere I heard, probably on YouTube, where you could take cooked chicken, put it in a bowl, and beat it up with your mixer to make shredded chicken a lot easier. So I'm going to give that a try, not only because I want to get this shredded up quick, I also want it to cool down quick so we can get supper. It's already almost 5 o'clock, so we'll see if the old mixer trick works. was pretty slick less than a minute got all that chicken shredded up so I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator and let it get cooling down and get the rest of the ingredients for the chicken salad
It smells good. Mmm. That is really good. I like it. Too bad I can't drink carbonated beverages. All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, I want to thank you for spending the day with me, and I also want to thank you for spending the month of April with me. This is the last day of VEDA, and I really can't believe the month is over already, and doing VEDA did help the time go by and uh, gave me something to do and to look forward to, and I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the next week off. Um, this video, the last day of VEDA is Thursday, so I'll probably take for sure Friday and then maybe the entire Monday, Wednesday, Friday of the following week, or I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put a video up, I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. I'm going to take a little time off to uh, recoup and to uh, brainstorm some ideas for more videos. I have figured out that during, during VEDA, I really do enjoy doing the DIYs and the um, crafting type videos. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to do more of those on this channel, although, you know, once we everything gets back to normal and I'm back working my hours, normal hours, I don't know how much time I'm going to have for that, but we'll just see and we will play it by ear. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.